Uh, Vandam, you have said many times in Taurus and so forth that to how to in the moment, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahman, how in the moment tried to kind of start with first ignoring the ego or when the ego is attacking or fooling or try to understand the trick. My, my question is when one is faced, so sometimes faced with a hardship or a situation and in that moment the emotion is, is boiling and the habit is to let it go and let it take over. Smack yourself. But when, but when you try to control it and try to put a lid on it and try to, to ignore the ego or try to look away, it actually burns more um, than when, when you've done right. those. So it's about you satisfying yourself when you're angry. When that anger is not sat- satisfied, then you burn more. This is what you say. It hurts more. So you're saying that if I have more patience, it's supposed to make me to become cool. But it's not, I'm not becoming cool by becoming more patient. It's actually burning more. Are you listening to yourself? Is it to satisfy yourself that we're following shariat? Is it to satisfy yourself if we're following tariqah? Is it to make yourself feel better? Is that the point? Is that the point? What is the point? To hear and to obey. I've never heard of any Muslim saying, Prophet says, Aisha to Wasalam, the prayer it is a miraj. Okay, Allahu Akbar. Ah, it's not miraj. I'm going to stop praying. Why not? If it's about satisfying yourself. Because what? Prayer is what? Prayer is what? Huh? Obligation. And to control your anger in that situation, that is obligation. Especially at our level. Don't say, well, I'm in a Jalal, I have to be this. Stop, stop, stop. Especially at our level. Who are you fighting with? Um, tyrants? Representatives of Dajjal? No! Who are you fighting with? Your wives? Your husbands? Your friend, a little bit? Maybe mother, father, a little bit. Do we understand how low key we are? What right do we have to have the same kind of passion as if we are defending the honor of our kingdom? There's a problem. When it becomes a matter of like, no, 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 it's not about the money. It is. It's about honor. It's not. Because honor demands. This is not a battle worth fighting. So it burns. Let it burn. You are doing what the Prophet says, Alayhi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. What? Because we're doing, we expect the sky to split open and angels to descend, giving us food on a golden table. Alhamdulillah, we have Islam. So it burns more. Let it burn more. It's okay. You are fulfilling what the Prophet is saying. Say to your ego, good, you're burning more. Good. Let it burn. Until you come to the point where it burns less because the situation is less. Until you come to the point where you can turn it off. Because you say this situation, it doesn't require this much. I'll turn it off. Maybe it's going to take one day, two days, but I'll turn it off. But I already, that intention, that knowledge is already there. This is not worth it. I get very upset. It hurts. But I don't want it. I don't like this. So I'm just waiting it out. It will come. 
It's different, you know. Do you understand? You're doing something good, it burns you. Now, of course, what is burning is your ego. Your spirit is very happy because you're doing that, believe me. So many ways, the more you burn, the more sawab is going to come to you. The more you fight, the more it hurts fighting, the more Allah's mercy will reach to you because it's not an easy fight. How many times you hear Shaykh and he say, Allah loves that servant who is fighting with himself. It hurts, it's painful. He doesn't want to do it at all, but he gets up in the middle of the night to pray. And when he's praying, he's falling to sleep. How many times you hear Shaykh and he said that Allah loves that servant more than that other servant who has no problems getting up and praying? Because that one, look, like this, like that, your father's, uncles, whatever. You see two kids. You see one kid that it's, it's very easy for this kid to be good. But you see this other kid who is very naughty, but is fighting with himself trying to be good. Where is your heart naturally going to be? Especially when you see that good kid, he tends to be arrogant. But this naughty kid, everybody lets him know that he's naughty and he knows that he is. But you see him fighting, he's trying to be, he's failing but he's trying to be. Where is your heart going to go to? This is common sense. This is an experience that we all experience. But for us, now we have to fight. And that, that fight is good. We have to convince ourselves. Ah, convince you, don't convince. Who cares? It is heart coming from Allah. Heart coming from the Prophet. He's saying, do that. There is heart, there is good in that. So we are not those ones who do good to expect rewards. We are not those ones who do good to expect Jannat. We expect nothing. We do because it is Allah deserves to be worshipped. It is as He likes. What, are you going to complain if it says, I don't accept? So many people will. So many people look at the way we pray and it says it's not accepted. What happened? You became Allah. How do you know your prayer is accepted? Because I pray slow. Because you pray fast, I pray slow, so accepted. MashaAllah, so much knowledge you have. This boils down to the importance that we put to ourselves and how we think the thing that we're doing for Allah is so important. What are we doing? Nothing. Do you understand? The person who doesn't put too much importance to himself is not going to get angry too quickly, so many times. Because he's, he's looking down on himself also. He's looking down, saying, look at you. What's wrong with you? You think you are, you think you're a hot shot? You're a big shot? You always get angry with this one? One who thinks so big of himself, although he sees the wrong example all his life and he knows not to repeat it, but he's in gaflet, and it's taken over him, and that becomes the default action. He starts copying that one instead of copying his share, instead of copying his Prophet. But he knows the difference. But he feels good. He feels important. As Shri Maulana says, anger, it is the last, uh, how we say, the last stage hmm? of a person declaring himself to be Lord. Maybe I should break down this anger because you guys don't understand that and then people are going to say, well, what about this? What about this? If I explain to you and you understand, that means you have that understanding all along. So why you don't use your brains to break it down yourself? Huh? Of course, what I mean by this is there are things that are wrong, yes. You should feel upset. But this in this situation, angry, we're talking about a person losing control over someone else. This is specific now. I'm talking about this. I'm not talking about, oh, so when you see wrong, you're not going to get angry. And then it becomes just 
the whole sohbat is just apologetics, explanation. Sohbat is not like that. It goes ahead. You understand, you understand. You don't understand, get away. You misunderstand, welcome to you. You understand? Allah forgive me, inshallah.